Roller skating, a pleasant, common activity. A weekend hobby usually associated with disco lights and cheesy music. Not for these women. Roller skates are being taken over and they are reinventing and bringing back the violent and exhilarating sport of roller derby. But what is roller derby? Roller derby started in the 1930s as a skating endurance race, but soon evolved into the sport seen today. Nowadays there are 117 full and 57 apprentice leagues worldwide, according to the Women's Flat Track Derby Association. The sport is well on its way to getting back on its feet, or should I say skates, and this time Australia is well and truly caught up in the craze. The Victorian Roller Derby League is a grassroots, skater-owned and run roller derby league which is growing so fast that, since their inception in 2007, they have already been accepted as an apprentice league to the WFTDA, the first and only Australian league to achieve this so far. It's like, I guess, the highest level of skating that you can reach. So um, it's pretty prestigious, like we're the only league in Australia that actually is Boxer approved apprentice, so it's like pretty cool. <laughs> we're famous. Achievements like this are what the league had been aiming for, and along with the match against their first international opponent from Texas, it seems all their dedication is paying off. So what does Texas think of Australian roller derby? I think those girls are absolutely amazing. Uh, we watched them before coming out and we know they know a lot of strategy, and we knew it was going to be a tough game, and they came out hitting and it was a good game. Australia is definitely going to give the states a run for their money really, really soon. And what does this mean for the VRDL? Uh, it means it means the world, really, because the start we've now been we're taken to the world. We're taken on one of the best teams from the best leagues in the world, and we survived. The recognition that is now coming their way is well deserved, considering these women put their heart and soul into keeping the league going. The women you see on the track are also those working behind the scenes, keeping everything running smoothly in and around their everyday lives. So how much effort does this really involve? A lot of effort. Millions of effort. There's all these different groups that deal with all different parts of bouts and skating and the league and um, yeah, like they all require heaps of effort and every single person in the league has to put in time and effort. Otherwise, they don't get to skate pretty much. We're skater owned and operated, so it means that every single one of us has a job outside of making attendance for our skating. We put on all of the bouts ourselves, we train ourselves, we do first aid ourselves, we do all of the media ourselves, we do absolute merchandise, everything ourselves. So it's another full-time job. Most of us work full-time or go to university or parents full-time, it's another full-time job. With the aggression seen on the track, it is hard to believe it is these women pitched against each other that work so closely together to run the VRDL. But it is their firm dedication to the sport that combats all friendly rivalries and competition. So how does this on-track rivalry fit into keeping the league going? We're all best mates. <laughs> on track is on track. What happens on track stays on track. And, you know, we have a whole lot of dedicated, passionate women doing what they love doing. They're passionate about everything from skating to the committees as well. So it makes for some really interesting conversations and it makes for a dynamic league that grows and becomes more innovative. So, you know, it's, it's all down to the passion, I think. You can't do this with just 15 girls on your team. You need a whole league. And if you allow that was created on the track to bubble over into running the league, the whole thing is just going to fall apart. And um, yeah, it, it's lovely. I was um, Swish Caribou, who's the jammer for the other team, I was telling her earlier that I was going to give her a hug and that was the last hug she was going to get because I was going to belt her in the meantime and then give her a hug after this game. Crunch Lady Doris has been part of the VRDL since 2008 now belonging to the League's Media Committee. 
She gives us an insight on her motivations to join Roller Derby and her role in keeping the league going. The job I had was a truly boring office job and that is a lot more interesting than sitting in an office and going home every night. So yeah, I went along to their fresh meat session, enjoyed the fact that eventually I was going to learn how to hit people and yeah, from there it sort of just took over. As a kid I've always been one of those rough and tumble ones, playing with the boys, fighting with the boys. So the actual physical component of roller derby just really suits me. I enjoy making really, really good, decent hits on people that send them flying. Booking radio ads, booking print deadlines, getting photos to our sponsors at Impress, all this sort of thing, are pretty much non-stop being the liaison between the public and the league. And I run our Facebook page. And it's just this really great sense of accomplishment when you walk into our training venue and realise that that's something that we're paying for ourselves. And, you know, when people turn up for our bouts, this is something that we've organised ourselves. And it's all for us and it's something that we love that we get to share with everybody. One thing that these women have had to battle is the often degrading stereotypes that are paired with roller derby, sparked on by the quirky names and frequency of fishnets. These women argue strongly against such perceptions. Well, there's a legacy within the league that we were really anti these stereotypes, you know, this rockabilly ethos. Um, you know, when Whippet came out, that was a real big challenge for the league, I think, as well, because we're like, oh, no, we're different to that. Well, we're not. But I guess to, to stereotype every single person as being tattooed with rockabilly ethos is completely wrong. Finally, we ask the question that has been on everybody's mind. Not at all, but I will say that Whippet got a lot of people interested in Derby in the first place, so, um, so it was cool in that respect, but I guess when you actually start um, training, you realise that it's completely different because you're not allowed to clothesline people, punch them in the face, trip them up or anything, pretty much, that they do in Whippet, so <laughs> it's not a very good representation at all. The fans for Roller Derby are as dedicated and passionate about the sport as the players and are also an ever-growing number. With the infectious electric atmosphere at a VRDL bout, it's no wonder they keep flocking back. So what is it that they love so much about Roller Derby? We love the trenches. The girls in hot pants. And the violence. <laughs> it's very powerful. It's just the atmosphere and the, the people here are fantastic. It's like the only female sport out there that has contact, so it's pretty freaking awesome. While roller derby attracts a wide range of fans, there does seem to be a standout trend among the crowd. We are stallholder Emma from Wild Sea Badges, why she thinks that is, and what she loves about doing business here. Definitely. It doesn't actually attract the mainstream. There's a particular type of people who are drawn to the idea of mixing fishnets on roller skates. That it, I mean, it appeals to a lot of people, but it actually draws a particular crowd. And I think certain people are able to be themselves more. There's a lot of the gay community here, which I think is drag, and that is okay. You know, people have permission to be themselves here. So, where else can you buy an animal suit and wear? the night winds down and the Texas Roller Girls Hot Rod Honeys do their lap of victory, the arena starts emptying as everyone returns to the outside world. Throughout the next month or so, the VRDL will be working hard getting ready for the next bout and when it's time, the fans will be ready. Well it's a hidden gem at the moment. I promote it all the time. And I think as the word spreads, more and more people will start coming and getting interested. So. Everyone should come along, it's awesome. I'm <laughs> sorry.